In this episode, I rebuild my first flying robot, then get busy painting two robots in camouflage, and in the end, it looks a lot like this. So in episode 20, I built this Vamp F flying robot and painted it with undercoat. Then I put it in this cardboard box and for two and a half months left it there. Until I recently took it out again and painted the engine parts in metallic colours using the techniques I tried in episode 24 and having taken the time to paint the metal, I put it aside again. You will remember the other flying robot that I spent the first six months of this channel building. Well, I decided to slightly redesign and repaint it. So I took the back off and bought back the pivot and decided I want to put a steam engine to drive the wings and a new tail assembly. So in this shot you can see I've removed the back end of the flying robot. This balsa wood is a rough texture so here I am gluing over the wings and will attach styrene sheeting. So styrene goes in portions of both wings allowing the hinge pivot so that it can still flap the wings. I glued styrene to other bolster surfaces and then in scale pipes. I used the thinnest copper wire and super glued to the wings for the horizontal and vertical tail. I cut these out of styrene and glued it together using super glue and bolster wood blocks so it will dry straight. The next step I rolled out milliput into a very thin sheet like this. Then cut it up into little rectangular blocks and stuck the bricks on the wings. It's sort of like piston housings, I suppose. So then I got to work on the rest of the model using milliput. This was fun to do. And when I finished, I sprayed an undercoat, and this is what it looked like. Better design than before, I think. So then I sprayed the engine areas black and dusting the highlights grey to create Zimmerful highlights which will create fake shadows in this area. And then I took this same grey and, and pre-shaded it, meaning I sprayed a grey mottle pattern all over the panels for both flying robots. That was a darker grey than the first actual finished coat, so I painted the grey RAF base coat and then I'm just removing the masking tape. Then I masked out the engines on both flying robots, then just spray painted aluminium paint on the engine. So you can see on the pad the underside camouflage pattern I've chosen, adapted from a World War I warship dazzle camouflage. Masking the shape with tape, and also this very strange masking patio I got from a model site on Tasmania. That apparently can be used over and over again. So I've masked the RF grey and I'm overpainting here in white, as well as the underside camouflage. I spray painted the white over the entire upper surfaces, wings, etc., and will be the base colour up top. This theoretically will be a camouflage when flying over metal surfaces of the living machine. Now I'm just removing the tape from the upper underside and to take off the putty you just pull it off with more putty. The first flying robot I decided to use only putty. Again I have a camouflage scheme based on a World War I warship. It's not easy to get straight sharp edges uh, like the tape, it's more organic and I oversprayed both top and bottom surfaces with white spray paint. So now just pulling up the putty with other putty revealing the pattern which, well I, I think I prefer the hard edge on the other wing but not enough to want to redo it, this is just the look. So because the wings are quite flat, I chose to mask them out entirely with tape, so I'll get the hard edges here. First I paint a kind of tan. The second coat is a chocolate brown, 
quite a contrast to it, the white. And then just a splash of red. So I pulled off the tape and it looks a bit like a marble cake. So the upper camouflage on the Vamp F used the same colours but a more organic pattern. And look at the putty, that's mad, it's dripping off the model but also closes up the space in the camouflage. Spraying over the same sequence of colours, first the tan, then the brown and the red highlights are painted off camera. And after that I just take off all the masking tape and this super zen thing of removing the masking putty. And it's true, it does absorb the paint and you can reuse it, but it is very gooey. Uh, so then the final step of the process, certainly for this video, I got this brown and enamel wash pre-made by Humbrol to go over the details and just dirty everything up a bit. I just brushed it on and, and removed with a clean brush or sponge. And I did this quite quickly for both models. Now I do think it looks like a cake, but when you put it against the tunnel, you can see that conceivably it could be a, an effective camouflage pattern. And here is what the pilotless planes look like. Rotating very slowly. The next video will be making and painting new tunnel sets and video 26 will be a complete edited sequence with proper lighting, smoke machines, music and sound effects. Like, subscribe, watch some of the other videos if you feel like it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.